And you're pretty confident that China can reach a growth target rate of 5 to 6% uh, in the coming decade, as long as it taps into, you say, uh, its development potential. Can you unpack that for us, particularly in light of the COVID situation and the uncertain path of the virus, which has been taking a hit to the economy, but also the pressure we're seeing coming from the US? Because you've seen companies like SMIC really facing a lot of heat, which had been seen as key to Beijing's efforts to get ahead, particularly in the tech race. Yeah, very good. You know, if you want to understand the mechanism of growth, certainly, if you want to, you know, improve the productivities, you need to have technological innovation and industrial upgrading. And China is still on the catching up process. So China has the late commerce advantages and that give the potential to grow much faster than the developed country. And according to the current stage of development, I think that China still have 8% growth potential. But, you know, in the real growth, you also need to look into the domestic demand situation, global demand situation. But overall, I think China can maintain around 6% growth in the coming years. And that's my basic assumption analysis. Uh, and, and, and for the COVID-19, as I mentioned, you know, for the areas where individuals who are affected, then their protection and, and consumption will be reduced. But overall, that's a very small area in China. So that's the reason why China was able to maintain quite a reasonably high growth rate. And uh, also situation related to the U.S. Certainly, some high-tech companies may be affected, but they're just a small number of companies. You know, and, and, and for the overall economies, I don't think the pattern of growth will be, you know, much affected. And that's the reason why I think it's possible for China to maintain, you know, around six percent growth in the coming years. Mm -hmm. Justin, I also want to ask you about some geopolitics. Is China going to be taking a bigger role in de-escalating the war in Ukraine? Certainly, that's the hope of China. We, you know, support the peace. We, we hope the conflicts will be peacefully addressed. So the life in Ukraine, the life in Russia will, uh, can return to normal. 